Hello everyone, it is Mr. Step Step, and we are starting up another TCG player purchase video. So, once you guys give me feedback on these, I can, you know, adjust or get rid of them or whatever, but I will continue to make these because I find them somewhat interesting and it's kind of fun to open up these packages on camera. Oh shoot. So this is a pretty, a lot of these orders that I got this time, they are pretty substantial orders. Okay, so they have one of these fancy trifold envelopes and they just stuffed all the cards in one little go. So for this video, I do have a lot of like, you know, commons, uncommon, just cards that really aren't worth that much. So if there's anything less than a dollar, like value wise, I'm not gonna put the value down below. I will put down the condition, like what I ordered and then what I received. So you guys can at least see the, you know, the stats grow for condition. Um, and also if you just wanna go straight to the end and see those stats or that summary at the end, you can go straight to the end. I should have it broken down by uh, the timestamps. But yeah, so I'm gonna go through these. These are just cards that I need for my collection to fill up my binders to achieve those master sets. So we'll start out, I'm just going to do one at a time, the Copperaja Hollow from Darkness Ablaze. For some reason, I never pulled this card, and then I could never find it at any shops that I went to. It was very, very interesting. Ooh, we have a Chestnut Hollow from X and Y Base. Because I have all the Ultra Rares from X and Y, this will be... I'm, I only have cheap cards left to get for the Master Set of X and Y base. And honestly, like, X and Y base is not a set that a lot of people talk about, or... Ooh, Delphox. Wow, they got the little, little bit of Cosmos hollow foil going on here. That's actually not bad. Wow. X and Y actually has some decent hollow. That's not bad. Okay. Fair enough. I feel like these these starters are definitely forgettable, though. I mean, the only one people really remember is Greninja. Is this hollow, too? So this is hollow from the same set, but then it's not Cosmos. It's just, like, regular cheap not cheap but just lazy hollow in my opinion i think that's centering on that's pretty horrendous but definitely not going to be getting a hollow slurp upgraded anytime soon all right so continuing with the x and y train now we have the reverse hollow nice this is a rare nice nice not bad slurp puff and swirlix and aromatisse and all of them they, they always kind of weirded me out as pokemon yveltal Nice. I feel like it was just their effort to get, you know, more fairy types since the fairy types started with Generation 6. Yveltal, beautiful looking card. I like the Yveltal Ultra Rares within this set, and then they have a regular rare in it too. So definitely Yveltal Overload. Do not bend! It doesn't say to not cut though. I'm always a little scared, but I do feel beforehand just to make sure. And we have, ooh, we got the Snorlax V. And like always, I'll have, you know, values as well as shipping times and all that for all the respective cards. Honestly, not bad. Not, oh, is that some crimping up top or? Oh, that might be just from like tape of the top loader. Yeah, this isn't the best Snorlax card ever. Like Snorlax looks extra, you know, chubby here, unfortunately. But I did need him for my Sword and Shield Master Set, so... Yeah, another one of the Master Sets I'm trying to complete. So that's all for this first part. Uh, I have a lot of orders that are just containing a lot of cards that, you know, kind of range from modern to... So there's, like, ultra-modern, like, Sword and Shield stuff, and then there's, like, modern, like, X and Y base. So it, it all kind of ranges in there. But I'll see you guys in the next part. Some more envelopes for today. They wrapped it up and then they put it in this nice little, not even cardboard. It's like a, like a may, makeshift sleeve and then also a sleeve within. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Secret rare Kabu. Whoa, and they double sleeved it. Look at that. They are super fancy. Secret rare Kabu. Champions. Oh, he has those like, little waves look like flames slightly. I guess that kind of makes sense for him being fire. That is definitely a pack fresh card. Very nice to add to the collection. Get that much closer to that Champions Path Master Set. I think with that card, I only need I think two more, maybe. Yeah, I think that I think I'm that close on Champions Path. But unfortunately, the last card is going to be the last card is going to be that shiny star or that shiny v 
Charizard was expensive. Another, whoa. You guys brothers? The heck? That's crazy. And the tape is ripped, luckily. So they did not do a very good tape job. And then it's sliding out the card. Or the card sliding out the sleeve. But Kaku's looking pretty fine here, too. A little sweaty. I'm curious at what your guys' opinions are. Do you prefer the colored full arts or the rainbow full arts? I think it depends on who the trainer is. If it's, like, one of my favorite, like, characters, then I want them in color. But if it's not, I, I, I do really like how Sword and Shield has done the rainbow this time. It just looks very nice. All right, see you guys in the next part. Two more package. Well, actually, like, one package, one letter today. These both contain a lot of cards, it feels like. Let's see what's inside. Uh-huh. So they stuffed a bunch in a team bag with the top loader as backing. Which, that makes sense, because I'm ordering a bunch of commons and uncommons for um, XY base set and some rares. And then they stuff them all in one sleeve. I'm not a huge fan of all the cards in one sleeve. If they have no hollow foil on them, like, I don't see too much of an issue. But, yeah, we're just going to go through these fairly quickly. If they're, so... From now on, if I order a card and I didn't either pay like more than a dollar for it, or if it's not worth more than a dollar, I'm not going to show the prices. I'm just going to show the condition and what I received. So you guys can see if the condition was right. But I mean, the prices for these cheap cards, it's not too much of a big deal. So Diggers B from XY Base. Fire Energy. Nice. Ooh, a Great Ball Reverse Hollow. I don't know how you feel about those Reverse Hollows. We'll actually check this one out because it is... Has some hollow on it. Okay, not bad. We have the Lady on from XY Base Set. A Metal Energy. Look at me, I'm buying energies. Oh, what is this? Hello. <clears throat> Misty's Tentacruel. I really like the hollow on this one. It's unfortunate that it's super scratched up, but I really like that from Jim Heroes. Honestly, not the worst thing I've ever seen. I like it. Set that back there to, uh, I guess, it's kind of scary to overlook us, but hey, we have a bigger package. Mm-hmm, look at this. They got the top loader separating two stacks, and then they just put some tape. So is this not a team bag then, or? Wait, so they used a team bag, but then they taped it too. I guess to be a little bit redundant, I'm not sure how necessary that is though. Have you guys ever experienced a team bag just bursting open if it was fully pressed? So we have Zarua from XY Base Set, not bad. We have a Super Potion from XY Base Set that is weirdly sleeved. Why is this sleeved? I don't know. Oh, I guess because they were marked with their condition. We have the red card. Boop! If I had a whistle, I would blow it committed and then the red card reverse hollow Ooh, that's real shiny yes yeah, it's, it's gonna take a minute to get all these xy Ooh, that's that not actually oh some scratching there but i don't even know why i'm concerning myself with these common and uncommon cards from xy base set it's not too much of a big deal what condition they're in i, I think i generally ordered these you know moderately played in higher so just to kind of match the rest of the set we got the hand charm. Yeah, sorry, this might be kind of boring. Got Froki, or maybe a throwback for y'all that have opened during this time. We have the Fairy Guard in Reverse Hollow. Definitely scratched up. We have the regular Fairy Garden. It will be nice filling in all the holes in my binders, though. It's very satisfying when, you know, you have all the cards spaced out properly according to the, their set numbers, and you just slowly fill them in. Got dual blade. Yeah, I will give them props. They did sleeve a lot of these, which is very nice of them. Very nice indeed. We have the regular one. Dual blade, double blade, double blade. Ooh, and then we got some darkness ablaze. Some ultra modern action. Copperage of reverse hollow. Nice. Ooh, and that one is looking literally like pack fresh. That's beautiful. All right, Copperage, we'll set you back. We'll set you back. Well, all right. This was a... Uh, these cards weren't the best for this part, but hey, we got a, a Watsi Hollow. I'll see you guys in the next part. Back with two more envelopes. Not actually sure what's in these. 
I usually look them up beforehand just to make sure that they're the right envelopes or they, they, they came from the right destination. So this will be a surprise. Well, it's normally a surprise, but this will be even more so of a surprise than usual. Because like I look them up, but then I don't actually remember which one's which. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, fancy. A potion. See, this is how you do it. See, they have a little tab. You can do it that way. That to me is okay. You have a tab to use for the card. You can use the tab. We'll go through these really fast. Reverse potion. So again, this is just for my Sword and Shield Master Set. Getting very close. Ooh, the more Pico. I have the reverse, but I could never find just the regular rare and like bulk boxes and everything, which seems kind of weird, but it's true. And then what's with this last card? Oh, shoot. That is beautiful. Radiant Collection from Generations, number 30 out of 32. That one's very beautiful. Oh, yeah, I think I got this one because it was from the same seller and I wanted to get over a certain price point. And so I figured out all the cards that he had or that this person had. I was like, I would like to add that to my collection to get over the price point. So every now and then we'll get some extra bonuses in there. And then this one, ooh. I think I honestly can't tell where the cards are. So I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Oh, that's why, because they came in some crazy, oh, they used their, they used a page, that's why. Wait, what the heck? This is a ton of cards, holy crap. I'm not gonna show off their store, because that's not what this is about. I'm not trying to put anybody on blast for good things or bad things. I'm just trying to show you guys what is possible to get from TCG Player. So we'll go through these pretty quickly. The Age of Slash Hollow from XY Base Set. We have Cassius. This one's actually in pretty good condition. We have the Electrode. Another XY base set. Oh, we have a Great Ball. Nice, got the reverse, I think, in the last part. The Lunatone, hey, not bad. Panpour, you can hear my cat meowing to get inside a room that the cat's not supposed to be in. We used to let our cat just roam free and in the previous place that we lived and in this one, like we do not let the cats into our bedroom. Cause I don't know, there's just something frustrating. Like you wanna have at least one room that doesn't have cat hair everywhere. The cats that we have shed a good amount. Ooh, we have an Electabuzz from Expedition. Very cool. This is an uncommon, very cool. We have an unknown from Neo Discovery. It's a little bend right there, not bad. And then a bend up top, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. And then one more trainer card, it looks like. Oh, Neo Genesis, Poke Gear. So slowly, oh, I don't think that's a bend. I think that's just like a smudge, a smear that goes down that way. Adds more to my collection. Shoot, well, this was a good part. I'll see you guys in the next one. Another envelope. Let's see what's inside. All right, ooh, they using some Shining Fate sleeves, which I've heard those are pretty bad, like they're very foggy on the actual cards themselves. And you guys can already see what we have up front. Very nice card. So they use the top loader as the backing. Oh, so we have a Shining Volcanion. Whoa, they like put a sleeve inside of a sleeve inside of a sleeve or something. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I guess we'll start out with whatever this card is. Oh, hello. Wow. I don't know, something about these cards, like, even though it's just a Dreadnought, like, if you're not expecting it, it just, like, hits you in the face because of how shiny and rainbowy it is. So they have, like, some type of prism stuff going on in the background. Very cool. Champion's Path getting that much closer. One step closer to heaven. Oh, we have a Shining Volcanion. So, this one has a little bit of damage it looks like to the corners i hate saying damage because it sounds so extreme and then is that like a little yeah no it's definitely a crease or a cut going down the middle it's a little frustrating and on the back you have some clear bending like this was in a very restrictive uh state at one point a lot of scratching on the back so that's a little unfortunate that this card is not in the best condition i'm curious at what i actually ordered it in and then what else do we have down here we have a Senescorch from Shining Fates. Ah, 
so they sent me the wrong card. I was requesting a Senna Scorch V Max, and they sent me the Senna Scorch from Shining Fates. Now, I've been trying not to add to the mistake or wrong order total, but this is just straight up like this isn't even a good mistake. Like the other one made sense because it was the exact same card, exact same number, just from a different set. This one is completely different. And so, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool card, but I'm, I'll reach out and I guess I'll let you know on in the following part what the resolution was. But yeah, this is definitely the wrong card because I'm not trying to collect the Master Set of Shining Fates at the moment. I'm trying to get Darkness of Blaze and these other sets that you see here. So I'll let you guys know what happens in the next part. Two more letters for this part. You guys will not believe it. It is actually snowing outside right now where I'm at and it's snowing pretty good like it's not a light dusting all right so we got a little rebel clash elite trainer box action got Copperaja. all right I'm just gonna reveal it oh man we got a nice Piers super rare rainbow rare hyper rare whatever you want to call it from champion's path now I'm literally only missing one card from Champion's Path. And that, of course, is the Shiny Charizard V. So I'm going to have to be saving up for that one. Let's take a look. Centering definitely off. But this wasn't a card I was going to be sending in anytime soon, or probably at all. But it looks to be pack fresh. So very pleased with this card. Just one more. Oh, and just so you guys are aware, in the last video, I know I had an issue with one of my orders being incorrect. I ordered a Senna Scorch V Max from Darkness Ablaze and received the Senna Scorch Shiny in the Shiny Vault from Shining Fates. And so, how that got resolved is ooh, ooh, and they gave us a little card saver semi rigid loader action. That's beautiful. And so, how that got resolved is basically I reached out directly to the seller. I didn't go through TCG player. I talked to the seller. It gives you an option to contact the seller. I said, hey, I received this card instead of this card. And then they gave me options. They're like, okay, you can either send it back and we'll reimburse you for all the shipping, or we can take half, we can refund you for half the price of the card. So I think I paid eight bucks for the Senna Scorch V Max, And then they gave me like 450 back. And I just ended up keeping the card, which, you know, is that the perfect solution, no, but do I think it's a fair solution? Yes. Uh, I asked if they wanted to see any photos or anything, but they took my word for it. I don't know if they can like see histories, histories of like people purchasing or whatever, but they took my word for it, gave me the refund. I have the Cine Scorch Shiny from Shining Page, which I don't have that card. So I added it to the collection, but I still am missing the Cine Scorch VMAX now, which is kind of sucky. But now we have this more Pico VMAX. I pulled a bunch of more Pico VMAXs, but not this one from Sword and Shield Base. It has a little bit of crud right there but to me this more or less looks pack fresh near mint so very content with that and i will see you guys in the next part just one letter today but this letter feels very chunky so it's probably gonna be one of my bigger orders so they wrapped it up in the invoice but then they put it in the uh one of the binder pages oh did they just straight up cut one of the pages because i've seen other people fold it but in this one they cut it up very nice so I'll get all these stacks out so we can go through them individually. Very exciting. You can tell a lot of these cards can be super miscellaneous because I was trying to get the, uh... oh, I had some sleeves in there too, that's nice. A lot of these cards are super miscellaneous because I was trying to get to a certain threshold. I think it was probably $5 for the free shipping. So let's go through them. So once again, if it's less than a dollar, you know the drill. Got an energy from XY Base Set. I'll show the bag too. Do a quick shimmer. Can't believe I'm freaking standing up in energy in the background. But they were still numbered. Tauros, XY base set, nice. That is a rare. Wonderful. We have the Starmie. Oh, wow. Look at that. Not bad. You might hear some cats meowing in the background. I think their mom is going to feed them soon. We have a the Darkness Energy. Nothing special, but these were still numbered. Remember when I was trying to submit... Uh, bulk cards to, I think, what was it? The Collectible Couple or something like that? Because they have a thing where you can submit, oop, there's a little smudge at the top there, where you can submit cards and then energy cards are like at a lower price than everything else, like even lower than like common and common and uncommon cards. Ooh, that's, has some speckles. Is that like, yeah, they just wear on the card. Reverse Hall of Semipore, not bad. And 
what do you call it? I asked about the energies, and I'm like, oh, do numbered energies count as common cards? And they were like, no, they're just energy cards. So even if it's a base set energy, it's not worth as much as, you know, a common card. But I mean, if you had a base set first edition energy, I'm sure you would do all right. You know, Doug Trio will give you a stand because I'm tired of stacking up the back. We have a Malamar from XY base set. Nice. I always find it interesting, like, which Pokemon they choose to have two, like, two cards of it within the same set. Like, for example, with an XY base set, they had Malamar twice. And then I, I get the starters, because, you know, you want to be able to evolve them and, like, have more of the same card for decks and everything. A lot of rares, which is nice. But, I don't know, like, something like the Malamar, I don't know. So this is a Reverse Hollow from Steam Cheese, Apom reason why I got this is because my sister, her favorite Pokemon is Apom, and I don't have the reverse haul of this, so I figured, why not? Show uh, my sister some love. Oh, and I got another one. That That's actually a really nice artwork. I like that Apom a lot. This looks like Heart Gold Soul Silver Era. Let me see if I can look it up really quick. I what that symbol is. Maybe Triumphant? That looks like Triumphant right there. Another Apom. Ooh, we have a Flareon Hollow from Pop Series 3. I don't know. I think this is a very beautiful card. I was, like, going through their entire list to try to give her five dollars. I mean, all these cards are probably, like, less than, like, 20 cents. Actually, I can... You guys have seen the prices. Yeah, a lot of them are super cheap. So I was trying to find something to get me over that total. And any card that I don't have in my collection with that Cosmos Hollow Foil. Very beautiful card. Obviously, in very poor condition. But I think it's a beautiful card. Got the Meloetta from Radiant Collection. Is this? Yeah. From Gener. Or oh, wait, no. That's not Generations. What is this? Legendary Collection? Legendary Treasures? Oh shoot! Yeah, this is Legendary Treasures. My bad. I'm getting all mixed up. I don't know why. I. Interesting. Interesting. Got a bill. That looks like Heart Gold Soul Silver. Very interesting. Yeah, just getting random cards. I don't plan on getting master sets of any of these, but I just thought it'd be interesting. And then I got a reverse hollow Skyla, because why not? Skyla's popular. Is that boundaries crossed? Am I that good? I'm that good. Look at that. So yeah, a lot of scratching there. But yeah, so nothing too crazy within this little part, but a lot of cards from one seller.